As you've seen from this channel, it's getting easier and easier to build out apps. But there's one question that I keep getting over and over again. How the heck do I get sales for this awesome thing I just built? And after training more than 600 entrepreneurs in a startup accelerator program partnered with Google, I've uncovered the best way to grow a business. A sales methodology so powerful that the biggest companies in the world still use it today. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you the exact five-step strategy and how you can use these free AI tools to get your first 100 sales starting today. Welcome back to the studio, my friends. First things first, getting your first 100 customers is completely different than building a scalable growth engine in your business. And every investor in Silicon Valley knows that if you skip this first step, you're pretty much doomed for the next one. As the founder of Y Combinator says, you have to do things early on that don't scale so you can figure out the things that do. And this first 100 customer approach is wildly accepted as the way to approach early stage startups. But what if I told you that the approach I'm about to show you works both to get first paying customers, but also to scale to the moon. Now the name of this strategy is Personalized Outbound and it's been around forever. But with these amazing AI tools, it has just become incredibly easier. So let's break it down step by step. So the first step and probably the one that most people get wrong is truly understanding your ideal customer profile or ICP. And there are three key things that we need to know so we don't throw tens of thousands of marketing dollars out the window. The first thing is who is your ICP, right? You may have several people you think are really gonna be interested in your product and you need to figure out which one you're gonna invest invest your money and time in going after. Number two, what is their specific problem? Within the context of trying to do a job, they're facing a problem. Figure out what that problem is, because if they're not facing some kind of a problem, it might be difficult to get their attention with our solution. And the third point is a unique offer. So ideally, we're looking for a customer who has a problem. That problem is quite severe. It might happen relatively regularly. They're already looking to solve this problem and they also don't require too, too much convincing. Now, I'm gonna assume you already have a website or potentially a product in the market. Now let's jump in. So I'm in ChatGPT, completely free to use, and I'm pretty much gonna just type in this prompt. Here's my website. Please figure out who my ideal customer profile or ICP is. I'd like for you to figure out the specific pain points they have. And then I'm gonna put a URL link. And this is the result. We are no code caters to non-technical entrepreneurs aiming to build and launch startups without traditional coding skills. And it gives me additional information, but now I'm gonna ask for it to create three different profiles. And I'm gonna ask it also to tell me which one they think is the best to go after. And it says aspiring entrepreneurs, business owners, and corporate professionals. And then it recommends that we go after aspiring entrepreneurs between 25 and 40 years of age. And it says that their pain points are lacking coding skills to develop their startups, limited resources to hire technical teams, and uncertainty about how to validate and launch their product. Now this first step is quite basic. Let's jump into the next one, building a target list. And for this next step, we're gonna be jumping into LinkedIn. Let's go. Now we're jumping into the free version of LinkedIn. And the big question is, how are we gonna find these aspiring entrepreneurs? Well, if you know your target product managers or you know you're going after the sales and marketing manager for a specific company it's quite easy to target people on linkedin but i need to find aspiring entrepreneurs on this platform so let me show you how i'm going to do this search to start building a list so i'll come to the top bar here and i'm going to actually go and search for events so let's just put startup pitch and here you're going to see all of these different things that come up so i could put people or posts but here specifically i'm going to go after events right um, so free online event and entire growth conf 2024. Okay. Securing seed funding for your startup. Interesting. If people are trying to secure seed funding, it probably means that they are going to be interested in actually building a business. And when I click in here, I can see that there are 70 people here that are actually signed up for this. So what I can do is just click on attend. And once I've clicked on attend, magic starts happening. I can just come in here and basically click on this. And now I have a list of people who basically are interested in launching their startup. So I can just kind of go through this list and I'm basically going to be grabbing these profiles. I'm gonna basically open up a bunch of these individual profiles here. So this is me creating a first version of this list. And the reason why I'm opening these different profiles is because we're gonna be using these profile URLs for the next step, which is gonna be super important. So I've now opened a bunch of URLs up here, but I wanna teach you a couple other ways that you can look for yours if you're not going through these events. So the first thing we'll do is reset up here at the top right. And basically I'm gonna come here and type events manager. Excellent. Then location, I'm gonna click Chicago and I'm gonna be able to find events manager at Winpoint Partners. If you're looking for the head of purchasing, if you're looking for the chief revenue officer, if you're looking for whoever your ICP is, I guarantee you that you can find these people either inside events or by targeting them by title. You could find groups to talk about the specific things that you're doing and join them. And then you get access to this list of people who are interested in this specific thing where you can solve a problem. Let's say for example, that you already have a website and you have some traffic coming towards that website. And this is something that I've been using 
lately. It's an awesome tool. It is called Vector. It basically allows you to identify website visitors. Let's check it out. This, my friends, is Vector. It is a free tool and it allows you to identify the users who come to your website. That's right, it can scrape the LinkedIn profile and send it directly to your Slack. And I want to show you this because it's completely free and if someone's visiting your website, they might have some interest, so they might be a prime prospect to go after. And all you've got to do is grab this little script here and you have to just paste this little code snippet inside your website header, which is usually going to be under the settings tab. You install this once and then it's going to start gathering people who visit your website Highly recommend that you use this so that you can retarget these people afterwards. This is called inbound lit outbound. And I'm gonna be teaching you exactly why this is gonna be the best strategy in 2025. So now we have a list of ideal customer profiles and we know what their pains are and we know that our solution can solve them. But this next step is gonna be so crucial so that we can cut through the noise and reach them. And to do that correctly, we need to do three things right. The first one is to actually reach them. So to have the right contact information for these individuals and get this offer in front of them. The second thing we have to do is contact them in in an incredibly personalized way. Now you could do this by individually researching each one of these prospects, or you could do what I'm about to show you. And the third thing to get their interest is for us to be incredibly relevant. And this has to do with understanding the problem we're solving. So for this next step, we're gonna be using Outbound to enrich these people's profiles and to create highly personalized messages. Now, just to be transparent, I am one of the owners of this platform, but the great news for you is that because of that, I'll be giving you a bunch of free credits. You can sign up below in the description. Now let's jump in. Okay, so Outbound allows you to do personal personalized outreach at scale. And if you come to outbond.io, you're gonna be able to sign up and we're gonna give you access in about seven days, roughly. So just fill out this form over here. We're gonna jump into the tool now. Now, once you've logged in and I've created a workspace called We Are No Code here, I'm gonna actually create a new table and I'm gonna call it Aspiring Entrepreneurs. Now, once you open a sheet, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to bring in those contacts that we identified. Now you can obviously go here to the top right and you can actually import a list. So if you have people from Apollo or you have people in your CRM who you'd like to learn more about, or let's say you've scraped a list of people already, then I would go ahead and import it here and you're gonna be able to map out these different fields and import it. But for the sake of this, let's assume we're starting from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and add a column. I'm gonna basically call it URL. Then I'm gonna add some rows. And now I'm gonna grab these profiles from these tabs that I already had earlier and I'm gonna basically one by one put them in here. So we have roughly 15 people in here. Now let's start getting information that we need. So let's kick it off by actually grabbing the information inside these profiles. I'll go ahead and add a column. We're gonna add an enrichment. Click on this. We want the LinkedIn profile. We want all the information about these individuals. And here it says LinkedIn profile URL. We're gonna go ahead and grab that one because that's the name of the field where we have the URL in. We're gonna go ahead and save and run all. And just like that in a couple seconds, we've populated this. We're gonna go ahead and double click on this and we can find all the information about this individual. We've now brought all of this into here, which is great because we're gonna be able to use all of this information to create highly personalized messages. But now let's say that I'm gonna to want to scrape their email. So now the next thing we wanna do is figure out which company they actually work for. So I'll double click on this and I'll go down here. I'm gonna see experience, click on that. Starts, ends, never. Great, so I'm gonna open up this one. This is a company that they work for currently. And you'll notice here that I can add any of these as columns. So company LinkedIn profile URL. I'm gonna add this as a column. Boom, and it just basically grabbed them all. Now that we have the company URL, let's bring in all the information about the company itself. Let's go ahead and add an enrichment. Company LinkedIn profile. We're gonna bring this in. LinkedIn company URL. So that's the one that we have here in company LinkedIn profile URL. I'm gonna go ahead and run this for all and it's going to start searching and bringing in all the information about these people's businesses or the company that they actually work for and the reason why we want this is because we want to actually find their company url and then i can come here to website here there are none i'm going to add a column here and it's going to find a number of people's website now as you can see some people don't even have websites for their company let's just not take these people seriously here so we're basically really going to start with a larger list and then we're gonna be narrowing down to like exactly who we wanna target based on the information that we're finding. Now we're gonna to wanna to find their actual emails. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here. We're going to add enrichment, work email. It's going to ask us a couple of questions. Gonna ask us for the full name. So the full name is here in LinkedIn profile column, LinkedIn profile. And the company domain is under website. Go ahead and run all of these and it's gonna actually go out there and find these individuals professional email okay so now my friends we found some emails we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually check whether those are valid we're going to verify these emails to make sure that we're reaching the people at the right place we're going to go ahead and 
run for all. And wow, I'm quite surprised to see that quite a few of these are risky, which is great. It tells us, okay, maybe we won't contact those people. But again, this is a numbers game and we're doing this at scale. So normally we have a list of about 100 people that we kick off with. Let's go ahead and add another call. And now the next step for us is to create a highly personalized message for these individuals. So let's go ahead and add an enrichment. Here we can add AI text generation. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And right here, we're gonna be able to create emails for each one of these individuals that's personalized. So I'm gonna basically input a prompt here and we're gonna generate this. Now, of course, this will be a starting point for it to actually write this out. Let's go ahead and see what it creates. And just like that, then we can open them up here and we basically have a personalized message just for those individuals. You can also adapt any one of these emails before they even go out so you can review them until you feel like they're perfect. And then what we're gonna do is go to the top here and we're gonna jump into the next step. And to do that, we're gonna come here to actions and export all of this, including the emails. What that'll give you is basically a full list of these entrepreneurs, just like this, a table with the full, full email that's written out and uh, basically first name, last name, all that information. And then we're gonna be ready for the next step, which is gonna be outreach. And for that, we're gonna be using a platform that I'm gonna show you in just a second. Now there are three ways to do outreach. The first one is simply to cold call or call. Lots of people are already doing this. All we do is help you go from, I have this customer, I have their URL for their LinkedIn profile, and we can automatically enrich their phone number. Now the second way of reaching out to them is through email. And to do that, we're gonna be using one tool, and then the third method is via LinkedIn. And for that, we're gonna be using another. So let's check them out now. This, my friends, is Smart Lead, and it is an email sequencer that we're gonna to use to distribute emails at scale. It allows you to do this highly personalized, and there's a couple other reasons why we're gonna be using Smart Lead for this. Now, the first thing is email warmup, and we need to do this because we are going to set up a new domain to send emails from and create inboxes that direct towards that domain. But if we don't warm it up, there's a high likelihood that we're gonna fall into spam instead of the inbox. Box. And Smartly does that for you. The second reason is because it's gonna act like a universal inbox where all of the deal flow comes in and we can actually answer directly within this one inbox. So if you check out what it actually looks like, you have a master inbox here and you're gonna have all of the answers to your emails coming in right here in your inbox. And then for each deal, you can see the back and forth that you've had with that specific deal, allowing you to easily centralize the information for each lead and to see where you're at in the process of closing them. When I log into my account, I can also see how how each one of these is doing. For example, for this campaign we sent out, it was for transportation and trucking, and we sent out 1,600 emails, we got 38 replies, and we got seven positive replies from those. So it's a really good way to monitor how your campaigns are doing. Now the inbox I was talking about earlier looks something like this. Essentially here, this is Tim, and we can see that we had back and forth conversations with Tim, and we actually booked a call with him, and we can use this kind of as a CRM, which is really practical. But let's say that you don't wanna call your leads, you don't wanna email your leads, maybe you wanna reach out to them on LinkedIn. And for this, we're gonna be talking about the next tool. This, my friends, is HeyReach, and it's basically a similar thing to Smart Lead, except specifically specialized for LinkedIn. So in Outbound, on top of creating these personalized emails, we could create personalized DMs that we would send out through this specific platform. We would then be able to create sequences. So for example, we send a friend request. If that is not yet accepted, we could like a post that person made. If they still don't accept our request, we could go and comment under one of the things that they've posted. But if they have answered, we can send them this personalized DM. So we could just import this list, then we would also have a unified inbox, just like we have in Smart Lead, but for LinkedIn. And yes, you do have a free account here. And that, my friend, is how we're gonna do personalized outreach at scale. And now, my friends, it's time for the final step, step five. Let's go. Now, step five is gonna be the sale. We now have these leads coming in, it's time to close them. We're gonna try to set up calls for most of these, a, so we can understand exactly who these people are, what they're looking for, and how might we need to potentially adapt the way we're talking about our product or offer. The best way to go about it is to have a basic script for what you're gonna be talking about on that sales call, and then basically to fine tune our approach. So the next step is to come up with a first script, and then once we start jumping on these calls, we'll be able to improve it over time. I'm gonna show you how we can do that. But first, let's set this thing up. Let's jump back into ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it to create a first sales script. So here's my prompt. You are a sales executive with 10 years experience setting and closing. Please write a basic sales script for your, our product. Maybe I'll add, use the closer methodology. This is something that you might've heard of already. Uh, Alex Hermosi came up with it. I think it's simple and pretty effective. So let's just use that. And here I basically have all the questions that I would ask the specific candidate, but because not all of us are salespeople, you're gonna love this free AI tool. This my friends is Fathom and it is a free platform. They just raised $17 million. Of course they do have a paid plan, but you'll have plenty on their free plan. They allow you to basically record your 
calls, every single one of those calls, transcribe them. They're gonna highlight, summarize the meeting so that you can really focus on the conversation. And it works with Zoom, Teams, also Google Meets. So you can basically just attach it and it will do all the heavy work for you. So it avoids you to have to take notes. And this part I really like, it's Ask Fathom. You can basically chat with some conversations you've had. So if you're not a natural born salesperson, you can basically just ask Fathom, like, how did I do? What could I have improved? And slowly improve your skills in sales. So that's how to get your first or your first 10,000 sales. So now I'm gonna give you the strategy that I think is gonna absolutely crush it for the next five years. It's actually a combination of creating content and building building trust through that content and then using outbound, warm outbound to be able to close those individuals. How does it work? Well, basically, as you create content, you start having people who interact with that content. And then you're basically able to get the information of all the people who interacted with you. And you can see, are these people my ideal customer profile? And then what you can do is you can actually run these campaigns where you enrich their information. You're able to then target them with highly personalized messages via email, LinkedIn, or even just by calling them. And guess what? These people already trust you, already like you. And so this is exactly what we're talking about when we say inbound led outbound. We're not going cold and calling people we don't know. We're actually calling the people who are already interacting and trust us. And we're basically bringing them closer to us and see if we can help them. Now, this entire video was all about getting sales. But what if you don't yet have a product or you don't yet have a website, an offer to promote? In that case, this is not yet for you. And I highly recommend that you check out this video because we're going to show you how to build a $10,000 website in minutes with AI. And trust me when I say I think you're going to like it. Thanks so much. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go.